so the last time I saw you guys I was at home um, the contractions got even more intense um, but I am more dilated than I was the first time I went into the hospital but that was for my heart it wasn't for labor um, pains or anything it was for my heart but um, that was a week ago a week ago I was negative two her head being negative two down or whatever they call it and then um now she's one and i'm one centimeter dilated and 50 percent of face i was at the hospital for about three hours yeah yeah maybe three hours um almost four hours almost four the contractions are still happening um, my back hurts so um, but yeah I'd rather progress at home than progress slowly at the hospital where I can have my own bed my filtered water and <laughs> my snacks um, so that's what we're doing now we're going home I haven't been asleep yet so maybe a good 8 hours of sleep will help if I can but yeah I'll keep you guys updated and yeah oh and my doctor's on call for the next 24 hours so he's not on vacation so that's a good thing <laughs> but yeah i'll keep you guys posted so today is sunday it is 1 30 almost in the morning um i slept most of the day um because we got home at 7 a.m my contractions was hardcore it was like hitting my back and then um they said i was only one centimeter dilated 50 percent of face so um so um i forgot what i was saying <laughs> i had a contraction so i had to pause it but um so now i'm just walking around trying to make it happen again in <laughs> the contractions but i was one centimeter dilated and 50% of face, which means my cervix is softened 50%. Yeah, it's softened 50%. What? It's 50% of its normal thickness. Yeah, 50% of its normal thickness. It needs to be 100%, and then that's when technically the water breaks. Maybe, that's what they say on the internet. <laughs> that's when the water breaks. Sometimes the water breaks in the hospital and you lose your mucus plug in the hospital. So you may not even lose any of that at home. Um, so I'm just getting some walking in. Trying to, you know, speed it up, I guess. <laughs> even though I don't want to speed up the pain. I just, you know, they say walking is good for you anyway. So we got all our bags packed anyway. And the only thing we still need to get is water because the water at the hospital is disgusting it was really nasty and it made me feel sick uh, other than that uh, i'm gonna get some lifesavers something something hard to have when i get thirsty and something i can focus on um but yeah i got seven more days to go a week left she's due january 7th and um so i could go all the way up until then could go past it. We shall see. I just hope that I don't have to get induced or have a C-section or anything like that. That'll be very non uh, non ideal. <laughs> okay. Well, I'll keep you guys updated. Day seven <laughs> or seven more days. <laughs> All right. Happy New Year's. I don't know how to do it. I just made noise. <laughs> so happy New Year's every 2019, you guys. News today. I tonight going home. Lost my mucus plug, so we'll see. Now I'm in pain. Um, she didn't want to come for tax season, but it's okay. It's okay. Mama still loves you. <laughs> no, but we're just waiting now, and I'm having a little pain, so. But then again, like I said, I'll keep you guys updated. Just want to say Happy New Year's, guys. And be safe, you know, and everything. 
I know by the time you guys get this, it probably won't be New Year's anymore. Probably like, I don't know when it will be, but it won't be New Year's. So be safe on whatever day you see this. <laughs> and I hope you guys have a good New Year's. Bye.